Yo, what's going on, rough stars? It's your boy Samson X here. Okay, I literally have no words for the fuckery we're about to witness today. Basically, if you're skinny or you're not fat, right? That's racist somehow. Yeah? I know. So, we're not even going to spend time talking about it. So, without further ado, let's get it, man. Is being called skinny a compliment and being called fat an offense? Do you know why I hate the topic about fat phobia and the way that fat bodies are treated versus skinny bodies? I hate this topic so much because it's intersectional. So anybody of any race can obviously be fat and anybody of any race can obviously be skinny, correct? But anytime we have to explain to skinny people why fat phobia is bad, why the way they're treating fat people is bad, y'all really start sounding like white supremacists. I'm assuming you're a woman of color. So if you took out fat and skinny and replaced them with white and black, white and Asian, white and Mexican, then it makes sense. But no, when it comes to fat phobia, everybody likes to sit on this stupid fence that doesn't even exist. Like, well, I don't know why it's wrong. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to need a minute just to process the bullshit I've just heard. Wait there. Okay, so I've sort of processed the bullshit I heard an hour ago. So, with that being said, let's break this, let's watch this one more time and let's break it down together. Why is being called skinny a compliment and being called fat an offence? Well, first of all, being called quote unquote skinny is a compliment to those who used to be fat to then transform to being skinny because it took X amount of God knows amount of hard work to get to where they are now. And it's offensive, it's so, it's so called offensive to call someone fat because let's face it, no one in the right fucking mind wants to be fat. Right? Now I'm gonna level with you here. When I was a youth, when I was young guy, right, I was a fat person. I was kind of chubby, I was fat still, and sometimes that came up in conversations. You fat bastard, you fat cunt, you fat prick. So, I've heard this shit, I have heard this shit, and that got in my head, you feel me? And that was offensive to me because I don't want to be the fat bastard, I don't want to be the fat prick. I want to be the fucking, I want to be the good looking bastard with a great fucking physique like I've got now, like I've, I've put the X amount of work in to get to where I am now, you feel me? That's why it's a compliment to be called quote unquote skinny. Does it make sense now? Do you know why I hate the topic about fat phobia and the way that fat bodies are treated versus skinny bodies? I don't know, because you're insecure. I hate this topic so much because it's intersectional. You know, just a quick caveat here as well. Why the fuck do people, especially those predominantly on the left, right, I'm not getting political, but I'm just saying, I'm stating a fact. Why do those predominantly, predominantly on the left try to make up bullshit long words to sound smart, like intersectional? What the fuck does that even mean? Okay, so after a quick Google search, apparently the definition of intersectionality is an analytical framework for understanding how aspects of a person's social and political identities combine to create different modes of discrimination and privilege. The term was conceptualized and coined by Kimberly Williams Crenshaw. That was just like a whole bunch of alphabet soup I just read. What the fuck does that even mean? That don't mean fuck all. That don't even mean shit. So stop trying to use big words to sound smart because that's a fucking bunch of alphabet soup that don't mean anything like I beg you someone get down in the comments man and tell me what the fuck that means I beg you tell me because what I just read was a bunch of scrabble it was like scrabble counters that's a bunch of words thrown together that mean nothing so beats the fuck out of me so anybody of any race can obviously be fat and anybody of any race can obviously be skinny, correct? But anytime we have to explain to skinny people why fat phobia is bad, why the way they're treating fat people is bad, y'all really start sounding like white supremacists. 
You went there. Seriously, you went there. Look, anyone who has to use the race card and say that it's, it sounds like white supremacy, that's the, that's, that's the attitude of somebody with a serious victim mentality that hasn't accomplished jack shit in their life. That's the sound of somebody who hasn't accomplished anything at all. And I can tell you, no, no offense, but I can tell you're a person that hasn't accomplished anything because you're sitting there in your car looking the way you look on fucking TikTok of all apps talking about the bullshit you're talking about. So just get out of this victim mentality bullshit. Real talk. I'm assuming you're a woman of color. Yes, I am. I'm a strong, independent black woman. You assumed right. No, but no cap though, no. you assume very, very wrong. You can't just go around assuming people's genders. That's offensive. I'm gonna cancel you, you know. My feelings hurt. My fifis hurt. <gasps> My poor fifis. <laughs> so if you took out fat and skinny and replaced them with white and black, white and Asian, white and Mexican, then it makes sense. On what fucking planet does that make sense? You're talking shit. You're just sitting there in your fucking car with your, with your shirt and your hat and your funky hat talking like a fucking jerk off. No cap though, I beg you, somebody get down in the comments and tell me how the fuck that makes sense. Maybe on Pluto, that makes sense. So what you're telling me is that if you were born a white person, you could become a black person. So what you're telling me is if you were born Mexican, you can become Asian and have that deep rooted in your blood. Because that's exactly what you're trying to say. Look, you can change being fat. You can change being skinny. Like if you're fat and you want to be skinny, you can change that. If you're skinny and you want some muscle, you can change that. It's called put the fucking fork down. That's what that is. And second of all, <sighs> TikTok man. Yo, can we just fucking ban TikTok for real? Because it's making people's brains stupid. There's something, yo, yo what is it like? Is it like the fucking Wi-Fi waves and the 5G? I don't mean to be that guy, but you get me? There's got to be something about TikTok and the whole correlation between TikTok and just making people's brains scramble like eggs. Listen to me. I'm fucking moaning like a bitch. This is getting me upset, you know. This is getting me in my emotions. But no, when it comes to fat phobia, everybody likes to sit on this stupid fence that doesn't even exist. Like, well, I don't know why it's wrong. Ah, I don't know. Ah, I don't know. So you want to sit here talking about this, this so-called fence that doesn't exist. Of course it exists. It's just that we can get away with sitting on it. Because if you was to sit on it, then... Oh, looks like we're getting a live phone call from my manager. Yes, Mark, you're right, mate. Oh, what? Don't say what I'm about to say. How do you know what I'm about to say? Are you a mind reader? Oh, it's just that you've been working with me for that long now, now you can tell what I'm going to say. What, what do you mean, like, if I say what I was about to say, I was going to get cancelled? Are, are you telling me people get that offended these days? Well, yeah, I guess it makes sense. I see, I see. No, I know, I know, it's not your fault, mate, it's not your fault. I, I guess you just call me, you're always looking out for me, you see. Hold on, wait, what? You're telling me if I make that joke, then obviously I understand getting cancelled, but who did you say is going to come for me? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just process what I've just what I've just heard you say. So you're telling me if I make an offensive joke on the internet, that big bird is gonna come to my house. So let me get this straight. You're talking about Big Bird from Sesame Street, right? But he's a fictional character. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, okay, I'll heed your advice, Mark. I will. All right, fair enough, mate. But I'm on camera right now, so I've got, I've got to finish off doing this video. We're live right now, so I'll speak to you later, mate.
Fucking ta-da, ta-da. Nice one. Yeah. Fuck it, I'm just gonna say it. Because if you was to sit on the fence, then the fence would break down like Humpty Dumpty. Hold on, wait. There's someone outside my window. Oh, Yo, guys, no cat, man. Big birds out there, you know. Yo, oh, you think I'm joking? Yo, he's out there. Fuck. Yo, big bird, it was a joke, man. Nah, come on. Yo, I'll take it back. I'll delete the video. Yo, don't break on the door, man. I'm begging ya. Yo, it's good, it's expensive. You're gonna, you're gonna break the door. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Please, Big Bird, I'm sorry, man. Ah, shit. Fuck it. Oh. <sighs> Guys, I'm in shock. Honestly, man, I'm shaking. <sighs> me and Big Bird managed to squash the beef. You feel me? But he stole a lot of stuff from my house. And he said, don't do it again. So, Big Bird, if you're watching, man, I'm sorry, bro. I won't do it again. I promise. So, anyway, after that weird, weird, scary event, I think I can continue this video. <sighs> right. Okay, let me continue. If there's anything I want you to take away from this is that don't fucking listen to these types of people, right? Because all they do is spew bullshit and that was made inherently clear. So, it looks like we'll come to the end of today's video. So guys, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's video. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at SamsonXTheGuy. Get down in the comments, give me any questions, suggestions, or for what you might want to see next. If you've got any inquiries about anything, don't hesitate to send me an email down below in the description. You can find that. One quick little thing I need to add right now is that, guys, if you like old school hip hop with a new school twist, don't forget to go and check out my sister channel, which I'm going to leave in the end screen. And me and my pops, we collaborated. Uh, we make music, by the way, and we collaborated and we're doing a bunch of remixes of old school hip hop songs. So it's going to be left on the end screen. So go and check that out. So don't forget to like, give me a notification bell, and most importantly, subscribe to Samsung X for that fire content. That's it for me for now. And until next time, hang loose.